Zone takes me out here along the dusty Las Vegas Strip to talk about big construction projects, whether they're mega resorts or maybe small road construction projects. No matter the case, they do sometimes create this dust in the air, and air quality officials do everything they can to stop it. What do you see there, and what's, what's wrong? What's going on here that, that this should not have happened? Well, they're kicking up an awful lot of dust across in that main roadway there, and uh, that's, that's a situation where we can't be everywhere all the time, but if somebody does see something like that, they should call us and we can come out and inspect that. The upset viewer who recorded the dust cloud video on his dash cam was at a traffic light on Flamingo at the 215 freeway, where a county freeway widening project was making him and other drivers eat dust. But his dash cam video enough evidence to generate a dust violation complaint on a construction contractor, ironically representing Clark County. We still have to inspect. But it's good to have, have any information they can provide. The DEQ went on to tell the Cone Zone that they encourage all residents to report any construction dust complaints to their hotline. If they're concerned, they can call us. We have a dust complaint hotline at 702-385-DUST. They can also reach us at dustcomplaint at clarkcountynb.gov. Although, as the old saying goes, it's a desert out there and a dusty desert at that. The DEQ did stress why their work is so important. Well, it's important because we all breathe the same air, and that's why we're out here every day inspecting sites. Speaking of inspections, I also wondered how many inspectors does the DEQ have on staff to keep our air as clean as possible? I, I think within that particular division, we call them dust cops, there could be anywhere from 10 to 20, and they cover the whole, whole county, and they're out there every day inspecting sites, uh, sometimes routine, sometimes random, sometimes following up on complaints. The dust penalties can become very expensive for construction companies not following county air quality standards. We have issued more than 30 notices of violations, and that has totaled up to penalties in the amount of more than $300,000. And that was just since July 1st of this year. Last fiscal year, we had almost a million dollars in penalties. Getting back to our viewer that got dusted, the DEQ reminds everyone to report any construction dust violations to their hotline at 702-385-DUST. I'm Ken Smith, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.